Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the color of the social media icons in the header of your Squarespace website. At the time of recording this, they have to be the same color as the main links in your navigation, but that's not ideal for all website designs. So we'll be using custom CSS to change the color specifically for those social media icons. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and you can see that I have two icons in the header of my Squarespace website. Now scrolling down here, these are the codes that we're going to be working with today. Those icons have three different parts to them that we'll be changing with CSS. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code, and we're gonna to navigate to website. We'll select website tools and then custom CSS. Here, I'll paste the code so we can see what each one of these changes. The first right here changes the color of the actual icon. You'll see that actual icon is now bright yellow. The second changes the fill of that icon to light blue. Let's go ahead and change this to pink so you can see exactly what we're talking about here. There we go. And then after that, we have a border set to green. You might not have a border enabled for your icon, but I'll go ahead and change this to red so we can see exactly what we're talking about. There we go. Now let's select save because we've changed the colors. Now I wanna show you what these colors look like with different designs. If we hop into edit mode, scroll up and select edit site header and click on our social icons. Here we can actually change the design. We have it set to circle outline, but what if we select solid? That outline will go away and just the yellow and pink colors will be applied. Now, if you select solid, you can select any of these other options or outline. And if we turn off the border, check this out. We'll still see that pink box or that pink background for the individual icon. Let's say all you want to change is the icon. You don't want a border. You don't want a background color. We'll select save. We'll hop back into our custom CSS and we'll remove those extra two lines of code. So the only thing that's going to get a change is the actual icon. Now you can see it's yellow, which is really hard to see. So let's go ahead and change that to red. And there we go. Now here's something that's even cooler that we can do. We can actually change the color of it on a hover. I'm going to copy the same code. I'll enter a new line. And when I have it set to icon hover, let's go ahead and change the color to purple. Now check this out. When I hover over the icon, it becomes a purple color. Isn't that awesome? Now we can go and select save and we'll do this with some of the other codes that we used in this tutorial. I'll hop into edit mode, select edit site header, click on my links and here we can change the design. We'll go and select solid, we'll select save and exit and let's customize it even more. Scrolling down here, I'll grab those additional two codes that we had so we can give it a light blue background. Let's copy this add a new line of code, and here we'll add hover. I realize I have an extra line, line 10 doesn't have anything, so I'm hitting backspace on my keyboard. There we go. And now let's go ahead and change it to pink on a hover. So check this out. Our icons are red, but on a hover, they'll turn purple. Then the background is set to light blue, but on a hover, it will change to pink. And now we get this effect. Isn't that awesome? Now, a quick reminder, hover effects can only happen on the desktop version of your website. There's no cursor to hover with on a mobile view. So when we see the icons on mobile, we're not gonna see that color change effect. They'll be set to the standard colors that we've changed using these first parts of our code, where we just said, take the icon and make it red and take the background and make it blue. Now, whatever you've decided to customize, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used and some links to additional resources. So check those out if you want to learn more about customizing Squarespace. And if this is your very first time using custom CSS to modify the design of your Squarespace website, I have so much more to teach you. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn to check out my free class on the basics of CSS for Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thanks again for watching this video, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.